John, where would you be today without Mr. Epstein? I don't know. Are you, are you driving down to London tonight? Yes, somebody's taking us down here. You heard the news this afternoon, I believe? Yes. And Paul's already gone down? Yes. I see. What, you've no idea what your plans are for tomorrow? No, no, we'd just go and find out, you know. And just have to play everything by ear. Yes. I understand that Mr. Epstein was to be initiated here tomorrow. Yes. Mm. When, when was he coming up? Was he coming up in coming the afternoon? tomorrow, just yeah. Monday, that's all we knew. Had you told him very much about the spiritual regeneration movement? Well, as, as much as we'd learned about spiritualism and various things of that nature, then we'd tried to pass on to him and he was equally as interested as we are, as everybody should be. He, he wanted to know about life as much as we do. Had you spoken to him since your... Uh, since, since you became interested mm. this weekend? No. no. I spoke to him uh, Wednesday evening, the, the evening before we first uh, uh, saw Maharishi's lecture, and he was in great spirits. And when did he tell you that he'd like to be initiated? Well, when we arrived here on, was it on Friday, we got a telephone call later that day to say that Brian would follow us up and be here Monday. Do you intend uh, returning to Bangor uh, before the end of this conference? We probably won't have time now because uh, Maharishi will only be here till about Thursday and we'll have so much to do in London that we'll, we'll have to meet him again some other time. I understand that um, this afternoon uh, Maharishi uh, conferred with you all. Could I ask you what, he, what advice he offered you? He told us that... Uh, not to get overwhelmed by grief and to whatever thoughts we have of Brian to keep them happy because any thoughts we have of, have of him will travel to him wherever he is. Had he ever met uh, Mr. Epstein? No, but he was looking forward to meeting him.